Hey guys, Michael with Engadget, and I'm here to walk you through what it's like to play with Sphero, the remote-controlled ball from Orbotics. Sphero is controlled with Bluetooth, and it connects to your phone by opening up any of the apps. Now, this first app we're going to look at is the Sphero app. It's the main app that accomplishes firmware updates in addition to tutorials. And when you open up the app, what you see here is or this is how we oriented the device. You put two fingers on the screen and you turn it till the blue light faces you and then from that point on the ball knows where you are and you can control it in the way that you want it to go. Now this is the main driving app. Uh, this is the joystick functionality. It looks kind of like a D-pad that you would have seen on an NES Max back in the day. Of course, there are also two other ways that you can control it in the main driving app. That's separate from the Sphero app. This is the main driving app, and the other ways of steering it are the tilt mode and RC mode. Now, we're going to demonstrate the tilt mode here. It's fairly intuitive. You tilt your phone to the left, Sphero turns left, tilt it right, it turns right, tilt it forward, it goes forward, etc. RC mode has two different controllers, like a remote control, if anyone's model airplanes and the like, one for controlling the throttle and one for steering. We found the tilt mode actually to be the easiest way to control Sphero while we were playing with it. However, in addition to the driving application, the regular driving application, there's also the draw and drive app. Now this is fairly straightforward. You trace out the route that you want Sphero to go in and he does as he's told. It's almost like Simon Says driving, really. Now, once you can see that Sphero's kind of doing its thing, it's not exactly going that quickly. That's because we've got it set on the lowest speed setting. There are three speed settings, cautious, comfy, and crazy. We've got it on cautious here. As you can see, it's at about a walking pace, not terribly fast, and that's because it's easier to steer. Basically, it's kind of sluggish, steering Sphero. It doesn't really turn on a dime, so we found it easiest to deal with in cautious mode. In every app, there's also the color picker function. There's an LED on the inside of Sphero, and using color picker, you can match Sphero's exterior to whatever color you might want to have it that day. Now, the last app that we're going to show you is the golfing application, and there are two ways to golf. In practice mode, you swipe up on the screen and that controls the trajectory and speed of the ball. In swing mode, you use your phone essentially as a Wiimote, physically swing your phone, and then off the ball goes. Now, in, in the golf application, there are three clubs. There's your driver, your iron, and your putter, and that controls how far the ball goes. Now, in this swing mode, you can see that there was a little bit of lag there. That's actually because we found out later on that we were holding the phone incorrectly. You want to have the screen facing where you want the ball to go. So once we figured that out, there wasn't any lag left. But we had fun regardless, and that's Sphero. Thanks, guys.